little robotic voice is kind of hard to understand sometimes, actually. Okay, this is the planet I just discovered today at 11.40 at night. Yes, it, I'm in my pajamas and it's time to go to bed. But I'm going to play at least maybe for like an hour or two, I don't know. And then I'll go to bed. I gotta I gotta do a, a party tomorrow, so I'll, I'll be busy with that tomorrow all day. But I still want to play. I've been trying to play all day. Um, apparently this planet is a sub-zero planet. Weather, wintry, sentinel, low, generous, moderate. I don't know what that all said. I'll have to review that later, won't I? I've got all distracted. In front of me, apparently, is my ship. And I've changed a few settings. Um, you'll notice it's kind of what, in my opinion, kind of glitchy as it turns around. But I did this kind of on purpose. But you can see I'm kind of on a winter planet. It's actually a nice... Oh, I thought that would go away. I didn't turn that off. Oh my goodness. I totally did not turn that off. I wanted to turn that off. Anyway, so I have the PT version. I got the Omega something or another ship, and I'd rather not use the Omega something ship. Um, hopefully that will just turn itself off in a minute. Let me show off a little bit of what I did. Um, there's some button where you have to hold things down and some button that you don't. I'm doing a 1280 by 720 resolution just to have a bordered window instead of having a full screen on my computer here. I was quite surprised. I was able to turn up all of my graphics up to super high. One of the slight annoying things, Sean, by the way, if you happen to watch this, is the slight little movement thing. So I'm like about to click this and it moves over. And I'm going to click this and it moves over. It's kind of a little annoying. Um... I ha I this is one of the things I turned down the move look thing it was up at 50 and I just found it was like super jerk super jerk and I was like oh, I can't take that so I turned it down okay um, the flight thing I left alone could have not gone on a ship yet I turned down the music a little bit let me know if it's too loud I turned on the sound effect for sure because that was kind of annoying I can't do anything with save no matter what I do um, I have to find a place this is just for inverting control I turned this off because I have nothing that vibrates on a computer this is where you redeem your bonus content if you happen to have a pre-order ship. So have, don't go into options, find your pre-order ship if you want it. I don't want it. Um, I want the pure experience. I'm sorry. Sean, thank you for the ship, but I want to cash it in for a nice quiet walk. Let's go with that. This, for all of you who want to know how to leave this game, quit the desktop is right here under options. Controls, by the way. You can see how much remapping I've done with my controls. I've changed quite a bit. So I may not remember where everything is, especially at exit ship. I'm not going to remember that at some point. Initiate landing. I'm not going to remember that. Um, I put the scans under the same thing. And the galactic map is also tied to um, the regular inventory too in the game. So, oh well, right? Under journey. Thank you. Under journey is journey milestone so guess what i've traveled three units hooray i've not moved at all i have no aliens etc 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 so there's all these little milestones you can kind of pause do whatever just kind of check this out and i don't think i'm in an extreme area so hopefully hopefully not um i've yet to read a lot of this i'm kind of just taking a look at it right now and can i just go to discovery thank you I have at least one, two, three, four, five, six way, waypoints. I have no idea what this is at all. So there's three, four, five, six, seven of these complete to receive 175 units. Discovery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Apparently this planet has ten discoveries. And oh goody. I can rename and upload. I can just simply upload my discovery to receive 5,000 units. So I'm going to try that. If you notice, I have to hold things down to do this. So this gives me my very first 5,000 units. If you want money, this is the way to go. I've got 5,000 units to begin with. And I can also upload my planetary discovery. So I just uploaded my system, which happened to be Kadir Hid Snozo, whatever that means. Um, I don't think I can rename. Yeah, I can't rename it after I've uploaded. That's okay. I'm going to leave my original planet alone. It's fine. Um, 2,000 extra units is cool. Okay, flora, generous, fauna, moderate. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. So I'm just going to upload this as it is and get 2,000 extra units. Why not, right? 
That gives me a total of 7,000 units to work with. Um, right mouse click button. You don't work, do you? Whatever, you don't work. Um, you can actually click out of this via tab. That's a way to get clicked out of this. I've already gotten that many uploads and oh dear. <laughs> On my left side, you can see my suit's gonna slowly drain, but this is okay, we have a lot to talk about anyway, so why not spend the time, hello? I'm a friendly being, do not worry about me. Go find someone else to bug. Please, go by, go find someone else to bug. I know, you see how sketchy this is? And I'll show you something. I'll show you something. I am actually going to turn up. I guess he wants to know who I. Oh, it's not under control. It's under options. I'm going to turn up this move look thing. And I'm going to show you how bad this is, okay? Now I'm having to hold down the left mouse button to do this. And I'm going to put it back at 50. And you'll see this. Oh, okay, it's actually not too bad. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to leave it at 50 for the time being, but you can still see kind of sketchy. Oh, you're going to scam me too. Please don't scam me. I don't want to be scammed. I feel like my privacy is being invaded by you people. Yes. Jetpack, by the way, is under, um, under space, and your jetpack, by the way, has a really, 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 really good height. You can kind of see what's going on here with my starship and everything, and... Yeah, it really does hurt to not know how high up your thing goes. Okay, that does take a number out of my shield. Yeah. Um, by the way, escape, when you're in the other menu, is a way to get out. Um, I mapped my, not my HUD, but my Galaxy map to tab. So this is actually what I'm using under tab. You'll see I've got a broken scanner. You'll also see I've got a broken visor. Okay, this actually comes up. This actually comes up. I just was reading some stuff, right? Um, I don't think... Oh, look at that. The game is moving behind me. That is actually pretty cool. So let's let's take a look at these menus. I have not actually taken any time to look at these menus. So here's my exosuit. My suit has essentially a backpack. Yay, backpack. I've got utilities. Interesting. I don't know what that is. I've got like this much stamina, which is nothing. This much protection, which is nothing. And this much health. Yay. I've got life support. Life support is at 98% of energy. I need to charge equipment with isotope elements. So charge type elements is the only way to charge it. Yeah, we'll see what that's about. I have a jetpack which I can actually take off. That's interesting. That's interesting. I can actually take my jetpack off. And now my hazard protection would have to be my shielding. I need to use zinc, titanium, or shielding charge in order to charge it back up. And I have, of course, none of those. So I can't do anything because I have none of those. Um, ah, that's where return comes in. That's where the right mouse click comes in. Now let's get back to multi-tool really quick. And I'm going to go, I guess the A and D goes back and forth. So let's see. Okay, now it's on a different button. Yay. I don't know. I don't know what that A and D stands for. Anyways. So mining beam. I have a mining beam which actually needs to be charged. Interesting. Okay. I need to get at least 25 pieces of iron to repair my visor. I have nothing here. Which I can build a bolt caster with a combat focus weapon. So I need carbon... Okay, I guess I need iron and plutonium to build this thing. And then a beam intensifier. I can use that to be titanium and plutonium. So that's not all bad. Personally, I would probably take this one. I'm not big on this one right now. A scanner is also broken. Come on, scanner. Come on. Click to my scanner. Maybe I... Oh, there we go. Right mouse button to get this one. This thing's a little clunky. Don't get me wrong. This is also critically leak damage. I need carbon. I can get this from trees. As far as I know. And I can get this from rocks. Okay. So I'm pushing tab here. Because um, I'm going to need to get in my ship. The reason I know this is you see. I happened to walk up a cup uh, on a couple trees earlier. So I can definitely shoot this to destroy this. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. I would like to know what's going on with my ship. And I've also got some random strewn things. I guess I can't interact with that, at least not right now. I can sprint with 
I got my map to the left shift button, and that's... Oh, 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 ow, ow. I don't know what did that, um, but when I find a saved area, by the way, I'm gonna delete that. You have reclaimed, unreclaimed item. Did this really hurt me? I don't know. Something just hurt me. I have no idea what hurt me. This is my current ship of Rasa Mama S36 ship. It's actually quite nifty. I do say so myself for our first tiny ship. It's quite neat. It's broken too, by the way, in case you didn't know this. This is why the ship's stuck here. It is broken. And this is a flag. Apparently, I have landed in this area with the Illuminati. Yay! How lucky me. So, interact and search. One time Atlas Pass version 1 required. I have none of those right now. So, I have to get those eventually somewhere on this planet, but I can get the cargo drop. So I'm pushing A. I've got my interact map to A instead of E. I just like clicking that button better. Thanks. Thank you. There is nothing in this case. I like you now, case. Okay. Just lovely. Okay, this is an oxide. Let's see what's in here. Shielding plate. That's nice. I don't know what I can use it for yet, but okay. What else can I interact with? I don't know what this is. Oh. Well, yeah, that makes it easier to see. Thank you. By the way, you can use your jetpack to kind of give you a softer landing if you know how much power your jetpack needs. Thank you. New technology discovered. Cool. Pulse jet tau. Very nice. Very nice. I like this. I need nickel. Oh, God. A lot of nickel. A lot of thamium and neutrino, neutrino module. I don't even know what that is yet. Lovely! So two hours of my life is going to be figuring out how to play this game. But you know what? That's okay. I really... I really... Thank you. I didn't want to go there, but I did. But here, deflector shield. Oh, spacecraft hull protection. Ooh. Did this just... Oh, okay. This is my ship. This is my ship. Okay. This needs to be fixed with carite sheet. I don't know how to make carite sheet. But here it is. I have one. I have one. We're going to figure that out later. Photon cannons, they're working at least. At least I can shoot things. And the pulse engine is damaged, so I need heridium and at least one more car right sheet and a bunch of zinc. I hear zinc is common. Um, actually, you know what? Let me go back to my exo suit because I, I would like to know how to switch menu without having to use the mouse button. What is the shielding plate about? Increase capacity energy storage. Promote any, promote efficient energy storage within exosuit and starship inventory. Good. Hazard protection. Wonderful. Do I have to install this or it automatically installs for me, I guess? It looks like it automatically installs for me. Ooh. There's some button there. I can push that middle mouse button to discard it. I don't know if that works because I see a third, a fourth mouse button on there. Or I can transfer it. I can teleport things to my starship that's kind of cool or i can move and back for now i got space so i'm not going to worry about that for the time being i do need to get indoors inside my ship so let's get in there and let's see what's going on inside my ship because obviously this game wants me to do that so whatever i know i can't fly i know i can't do much so let's see what's up with this Launch thruster critically damaged. Of course, I know it's critically damaged. Everything critically damaged. So, in order to repair this, it looks like I need car right cheats, four of them. And I only have one of them. So, I just need to just go wander around, get material. And, obviously, is this right to even take off? I think it is set on this take off thing. So, can I... There it goes. That's cool. So, can I, like... Ah, there we go. In order to leave this planet, I gotta repair launch thrusters, repair pulse engine, and refuel launch thrusters. Um, I know that, but I want to know, can I like look around or something? What else can I do inside the ship? Nothing. I have a bunch of keys that I can't do anything with. So exit was... But the D? No. Not A. There it goes. 
queue is exit. I remap my exit.